In this video, I'm going to show you with an illustration how permutation feature importance exactly works. So the procedure works as follows. We take a training set and using that training set, we train a machine learning model that can be an intrinsically explainable model or a black box model. And then to evaluate feature importance utilizing permutation feature importance, we usually do it using a test set or a held out sample and i'm going to come back to this point later on in this section but for now let's focus on the mechanism we take a test set or a held out sample and utilizing this machine learning model we obtain a set of predictions and using a metric of our choosing we obtain what is called the performance of this model on the test set. And now we start applying permutation feature importance. So the first step is to shuffle one of the features, for example, this one, then using the same machine learning model, but now this test set with one of the features shuffled, we obtain predictions. And with that prediction, we obtain a measure of performance utilizing the same metric that in the previous slide. And if the feature was important, there's going to be a gap or a difference between the model performance utilizing the raw test set and the performance obtained with the shuffled feature. And this drop in performance constitutes the permutation importance of this particular feature. Then we take the test set again and we shuffle the second feature. Note that the first feature now is back in the correct order. And utilizing this data set, we obtain the predictions with the same machine learning model. This will return a value of performance. We're going to obtain the difference between the original model performance and the performance after shuffling this feature. And this drop is going to constitute the importance of the second feature. Then we move on to shuffle the third feature and we repeat the procedure. We use the model to obtain predictions. We obtain the performance. We calculate the drop, which constitutes the importance of this third feature. And finally, we do the same for the final feature. Now, if we were just interpreting these models globally, this is exactly what we need. The drop in performance that was obtained after shuffling each one of the features. And the higher this performance drop, intuitively, the more important this feature is. So this is as far as interpretation goes. If we wanted to move on and select features, then we would select the top ranking features. And we can do this by selecting the top percentile of features or the top X number of features or those features that induced a drop in performance above a certain threshold. These are some arbitrary values that we need to figure out ourselves. So this is how permutation feature importance goes. It consists in randomly shuffling the order of the features. So as you see, there is an element of randomness that is going to have some consequences that we need to consider when evaluating feature importance using this method. So in the next video, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the randomness and how we can accommodate it. So see you there.